Hello there, my beautiful Sagittarius, and welcome to your May mid-month love tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Sagittarius, we are going to be looking into your love life and what is coming your way in terms of love for the second half of May. Please do keep in mind that time is fluid and check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are a returning Sag, welcome back. Thank you so very much for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of my beautiful Sagittarius out there. Please do not forget to like this video. It really helps my channel grow. So let's get started and let's get into it, Sagittarius. Spirit for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What is coming their way in their love life for the second half of May? Sagittarius, stick around towards the end of the reading. I will be getting each zodiac signs, feelings for you for the second half of May. So Spirit for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in their love lives for the second half of May for Sagittarius. All right. So here we go, Sagittarius. Let's see what's coming through for you. First card out is we have New Vitality. This is the Ace of Wands, Fire Energy. We also have Balance. This is Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. We also have Spread Your Wings, the Two of Wands. More fire energy. We have control. This is strength. Leo energy. We have embrace. The world. Fixed sign energy. And we have believe and succeed. The six of wands. More fire energy. So, Sagittarius, look at all this fire energy coming through in your reading. Definitely could be connecting with a Leo, or maybe you have some Leo in your chart. Sag, you're right up there with Temperance and the World Fixed Sign Energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. So, Sagittarius, it does look like somebody is very interested in having a new beginning with you, a passionate new beginning with you at that. So, it does look like somebody is interested in sparking something in this connection or re-sparking this connection with this new vitality. Some of you may be starting to get yourself out there on the internet and Spirit is saying that you will be seen, you will be recognized, and you will be getting a lot of attention. So for some of you Sagittarius who are single, 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 who have kind of been thinking about putting yourself out there online or just thinking about getting yourself out there and be seen with this control energy, it's definitely an energy that's being thought about. You may not have actually made the move towards it yet, but Spirit is saying if you do get yourself out there, Two of Wands, make that decision to put yourself out there. Six of Wands, you will be seen. You will start to have success. You will start to believe in love again. So for a lot of you Sagittarius singles, getting yourself out there is going to be very beneficial for you at this moment. And you definitely will be coming into contact with somebody that Spirit has been waiting for you to Put yourself out there to bring you this energy. So for a lot of you with balance coming through, spirit has been very patient. You have also been very patient. And with temperance, spirit has something brewing behind the scenes for you. So single Sagittarius, get yourself out there because the second half of May is going to be extremely rewarding for single Sagittarius who are just exploring what's out there. Because you will be appreciated. For my Sagittarius in connection, I definitely do feel like there may have been some distance between the two of you. It may not have actually been physical distance. It could have just been you two weren't feeling like the spark anymore. You may have felt like the spark 
dwindled or that the spark was kind of losing its flame but it does definitely look like you and this person are going to come back into balance and feel a lot more successful because this cycle of not really feeling in tune with your person not really feeling passionate towards your person is ending so with the world here if you have been feeling not fully in tune with your person or just feel like something was missing or something's off that cycle is ending and you're going to feel very good in this connection again and for my Sagittarius in separation this absolutely could be a past person coming around I do feel like this past person caused you pain because of strength being here but it looks like you're going to feel good about getting their attention for some of you, you may have been very patient with this person's return, but it does look like for Sagittarius separated, this absolutely could be this person from your past coming around. They want your attention. They want to give you the attention. And let's clarify and see how that's going to move through. So Spirit for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, can you please clarify this energy? Thank you. And Sagittarius, please take what messages are yours and read the leave the rest. I try my best to read for single, separated, and in partnership. And for some of you, the reading may be resonating backwards. So if this is not you, this could be the person that you're dealing with or will be. So clarifying the Ace of Wands is the Six of Wands. So now you have the Six of Wands here twice. So you are definitely going to start feeling a lot more seen, a lot more recognized, and a lot more appreciated in your love life, no matter what your status, Sag. Clarifying Temperance is the Two of Pentacles. So coming back into balance, trying to figure out how to come back into balance as well. With the Two of Wands, we have the Two of Cups. There you go. Two, two, two. So we have two, two, and two. So really coming back together with this person or really coming together with a new soulmate energy and choosing the path away from old cycles, old outdated cycles that seemed like they were never ending, Sagittarius. You're finally making that decision to turn away from it to spread your wings into the future and because of you doing this spirit is rewarding you so and a lot of you are getting rewarded for putting yourself out there a hundred percent um control is clarified by the seven of cups water energy the world is clarified by the king of wands more fire energy and the Six of Wands clarified by the Queen of Wands. More fire energy, yeah. So for my Sagittarius, if the passion was missing for a bit, you know, like possibly in the bedroom aspect of things, maybe you weren't feeling really wanted by your person or possibly their controlling energy, not their controlling energy, but their pulled back energy may have caused you to feel confused over where you stand with this person. So for my Sagittarius in relationships, if you have been feeling like things were off, Two of Pentacles feeling very uncertain, Seven of Cups feeling uncertain, Two of Pentacles trying to find a way to create balance again, you are absolutely going to find that balance with your person this second half of May. It looks like they are going to be re-sparking the spark and it's going to feel make you feel so much more confident because I definitely do feel like for some of you Sagittarius in relationships your person was just I don't want to say ignoring you but they were making you feel like you weren't wanted by them and it made you feel confused over how they felt for you where you stood with them or even if they still wanted you so it definitely looks like you and your person are going to be coming back together in a beautiful, harmonious connection here with the Two of Cups, feeling in tune with one another, emotionally open with one another as well. And this confused like energy will finally subside and go away. And the King of Wands is here. The Queen of Wands is here. So this is a divinely guided soulmate union coming through. So this is absolutely a divine counterpart of yours. And the passion is restored 
here. The spark is relit for a lot of my Sagittarius in connections that just felt possibly a little bit scared. Like what's going on? Why are we not that intimate or that close as much as we used to be the closeness will come you will feel seen recognized and appreciated by this person and your confidence in this connection is going to rise again this person is very interested in nurturing this connection i feel like you both see each other as very attractive individuals i feel like you both have equal attraction towards one another and i almost feel like the moment that things were off it really may have put down the confidence in either you or them or possibly even both of you so for my Sagittarius in relationships get yourself out there that's what I feel called to tell you a lot of you Sagittarius are thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it I don't know if y'all know that TikTok, but it's like you're thinking about it and thinking about it spirit is saying no more thinking it's time for action. This is all about becoming more action oriented. All this fire energy, regaining that passion, regaining that confidence in yourself and really letting it shine. So Sagittarius singles, get yourself out there. You will come into contact with a new soulmate. And I feel like you're going to feel really good about this. And this person is definitely coming through fiery as well. So if you're wondering who they're going to be, what they're going to do. They definitely may be a spire sign like you. We also do have water here as well. But this person is going to be very passionate. And I feel like they're going to be very attractive as well. So that may be an indicator for you if you're wondering who this energy is that's coming through. And for my Sagittarius in separation, they are definitely interested in re-sparking the spark in this connection and creating balance with you again. If they... If they straight away because they wanted to explore options, they're coming to the realization that this is where it's at with Sagittarius. So Sagittarius definitely could be having somebody returning back towards your energy. They have not gotten over you even if they tried and they want your attention. They want to give you attention and they want to feel seen by you and they want you to be interested in nurturing this connection again. So Sagittarius, you definitely may have to make a decision about this on if you want to embrace this person's energy again. But nonetheless, them coming your way will make you feel really good. Really, really good. So this person is going to say something to you that's going to make you feel very confident in yourself. So Sagittarius, Sit in that confident energy because that is going to really help you get a lot of rewards here. And look out for the twos because you have two, two, two in a row. So if you were waiting for your love life to get back into balance or just feel like things are going right again, look out for the twos. That's your indication that things are closer and closer to regaining this beautiful energy. So... I like this energy and I like it a lot for you here, Sag. So let's get each zodiac sign's feelings for you for the second half of May. And actually, I'm sorry, we're going to get Oracle and then we will get each zodiac sign's feelings for you. So Spirit for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the second half of May. Can I please have three Oracle cards for Sagittarius? What does the Mystic Moon's Oracles have for Sagittarius for the second half of May in their love lives for my beautiful Sagittarius? All right, here we go. We have Solitude. Yeah, a lot of you have just been feeling unwanted or single, single Sag. Action. Oh my gosh, y'all, I can't make this up. Be more action-oriented or your connection is going to feel a lot more action-oriented from making the energy a bit delayed before. And we have unawakened. So, um, single Sagittarius, I think this is a call out to y'all specifically that there is love available to you out there, but you are not taking action towards being seen let's clarify this 
And for my single Sagittarius, I mean, not my singles, my in relationship Sagittarius, because of your person not being action oriented towards you, it made you feel unwanted. And that is unawakened energy because how somebody else projects on projects onto you should not make you feel a way about yourself. So you may have to awaken that part of yourself who doesn't feel very down and out if your person is just having their energy with work, family, friends, like whatever. So let's clarify this once more, Sag. And for a lot of you, Sag, somebody from your past who left you in solitude, who left you behind, they they couldn't find anything else out there. So now they're coming back your way. Solitude with muse, yup. Very seen, somebody being very inspired by you. Or you getting out of solitude and just magnetizing people towards you. Some of you may be connecting to an artist. Action with shadow work. And unawakened with lessons. Yeah, learning a lot of lessons. Definitely going through a lot of shadow work for my Sagittarius. And really coming to the realization that... You are an amazing person. You are an amazing energy. And anybody would be grateful and appreciative to have you. So I think you need to come up with come to that realization within yourself and you will see your reality shift for you. But it looks like somebody's learning a lesson that the grass wasn't greener on the other side, and they are very much still inspired by you and very much still into you here, Sagittarius. And for others of you, Sag, in relationships, your person definitely learned the lesson from making you feel alone. And they're going to be a lot more action-oriented towards you. And like I said, single Sag, that's just calling you out to get yourself out there. So here we go. All the way from Aries to Pisces, I need each zodiac sign's feelings for my Sagittarius. All the way from Aries to Pisces. Here we go, Sag. Aries feelings for you are the page of cups so it could be getting an apology from an Aries or you could just be making up with an Aries possibly you could be meeting a new Aries or you and your Aries are just opening up more emotionally or starting to at least next we have is Taurus feelings for you, Sag, are the five of pentacles. So Taurus feels very neglected from this connection. They feel very let, not, um, yeah, they could be feeling let down. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus who is going through some sort of financial loss as well. It doesn't even have to be about you. Or you did create this sadness for Taurus. If you left a Taurus, they definitely feel abandoned by you. Next we have is, Gem no. Yeah. <laughs> Gemini's feelings for you, Sagittarius as the Nine of Wands. So it looks like Sagittarius, I'm sorry, it looks like Gemini is feeling the wounded warrior right now. So they may be putting up a barrier between the two of you, or you could be dealing with a Gemini who is just trying to protect their heart right now and make a decision if they want to let you into their energy. Next we have is Cancer's feelings for you, Sag, are the Six of Pence. Six of Pentacles. So Cancer is in a position of wanting to create balance with you. Cancer may be feeling like there is a little bit of unfairness here and they want to create fairness in this connection. Could be from them or could be from you, but they definitely are interested in recreating some sort of balance and having reciprocation with you. You could also work with a Cancer here, Sag. Next we have is... Leo's feelings for you as the Seven of Swords. So it does look like Leo is trying to figure out what's going on here with the Seven of Swords. You could be dealing with a sneaky Leo or Leo maybe feeling like you are sneaky. There could be a lot of fears here. Let's see. Okay, so Leo is either assuming that you are putting them in a third party situation or... They may have um, some sort of workplace sneaky energy. But I do feel like Leo may be assuming this is you. 
playing them. Next we have is Virgo's feelings for you as a six of wands. So Virgo is very much interested in getting your attention and giving you attention. They feel like they can have success in this connection and they are very interested in being seen by you and feeling like you two can really move forward and have a victorious relationship. Next we have is Libra's feelings for you as the Queen of Wands. So Libra is feeling really good about this connection. They are feeling very confident. They are very interested in pursuing you. You will definitely know that Libra is interested in you. They think you look good, you smell good, and that you are the best, most amazing looking person they've ever seen. So Libra definitely got the hots for you here, Sag. Next we have is Scorpio's feelings for you as the Emperor. So Scorpio is in a position of wanting to control this connection. So you could be dealing with a bit of a controlling Scorpio or Scorpio just likes to be in the lead. You could be dealing with a Scorpio who is older than you, but Scorpio does view you as somebody that they could have a very strong union with, if not marriage as well. Next we have is, um, you actually could be connecting to a Scorpio who's your boss or something as well. Next we have Sagittarius feelings for you, Sag, is the Justice card. So Sagittarius is interested in making things right with you. If there has been some sort of energy of unfairness, they definitely want to be fair with you now. For some of you, Sagittarius... You and your Sag may have made a final decision about this connection, either to continue this or to possibly not, but the decision has already been made, so you know. And we have Aquarius, no, Capricorn's feelings for you, Sag, as a Seven of Pentacles. So it does look like Capricorn is waiting for something here. They may be waiting for you to reach out to them, or they may be waiting to see if they want to put more effort into this connection, but it does look like Sag, um, Capricorn is in a waiting period. Next we have is Aquarius feelings for you, Sag, as the King of Cups. So, ooh, Aquarius coming through as a King of Cups. You definitely have Aquarius in love with you or falling in love with you. I feel like Aquarius is very much in a position of wanting to commit to you if they have not already. They definitely may be opening up more emotionally to you. If you are a connecting to an Aquarius who you kind of feel like puts on a poker face, they have feelings for you. They could put on a lot worse of a poker face. So your Aquarius does look open. Even if they don't seem as much, they are as open as they can be for sure. Next we have here is, or lastly, we have Pisces feelings for you, Sag, as the King of Pentacles. So it does look like Pisces is very focused on their money, their security, and their finances. But you could be dealing with a Pisces who is interested in commitment with you and having a strong foundation with you. You could work with a Pisces. It doesn't have to be. But if you are connecting to a Pisces, definitely could be reaching commitment with the, with this connection. Or if it's hard to understand your Pisces, it's just because they're very focused on their money right now. So Sag, let's make sure everyone's out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, Sag, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like this video. I am closed for private readings, but I will be going live for super chat questions. So ring that bell if you have not already and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, Sag. And I'll talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Bye now.